Hey everybody, and welcome to Sinclair Community College in Dayton, Ohio. We're on the first floor of Building 13 of Sinclair's downtown Dayton campus, and it's the perfect place for us to start our new series. The first episode of a series is usually called a pilot, and that's totally appropriate for what we're doing here because this is going to be a series about aviation. I'm Josh Sprague, Program Coordinator for Sinclair's Aviation Technology Department. I'm looking forward to bringing this series to you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start this off by playing a game. Games are fun. Video games are really fun too, whether it's PS4, Xbox, if it's PC, if it's a game on your phone, or if you bought the retro Nintendo system that came out at Christmas. Video games are really fun. Here at Sinclair, we have a couple of video games of our own. We like to call them flight simulators, though. Behind me is the Redbird simulator, which is a motion simulator we have that we use for our instrument flight training here at Sinclair. My name is David Hazy. I'm a senior flight instructor. I've been working for Sinclair and for aviation sales for quite some time now. I'm an adjunct faculty here. Uh, one of the advantages of uh, having a device like this uh, is many other colleges don't really have anything like this. Uh, it provides a real world feel uh, applied to flight in a way that you can take lessons in this, save money, apply it to your rating, and get the flight training you need. Now this is a little bit more specialized because you can pause and play where in the real airplane you have to wait take off again, turn around, where here you can kind of plug and play, drag and drop, and uh, start off where you left off, say you made a mistake. Okay, you plug and play, drag and drop, start over again, run through the procedure again, you're good to go. <clears throat> Another uh, benefit of this is when the weather's really, really poor outside and you can't get up in the airplane, you just jump into this, you do your flight lesson, um, get the time in, no loss to you, but you still gain uh, the proficiency that you would have had in the airplane. So this is kind of an added benefit, kind of a, a feather in the cap, I guess you could say, uh, added to the aviation realm as well as the other uh, devices we have as well.